Front row MMA here with Sam Chamberlain, just uh, a week or so out from your fight at Rage in the Cage, up in Stoke, I believe, on yes, September yeah. 15th. Um, this is your second semi pro fight. Yeah, yeah. Um, when was your first fight and, and what did uh, you glean from it? My last fight was uh, a year ago. It's just, I've, I've just uh, been out, I've been lazy, really, and looked at it, my fight again, just been dying to get back in and been trying to get my balls off now and back in. So a, a year ago, what was it that sort of sparked that, yeah, I want to get back in there now? Uh, it's just all the other lads fighting and you just miss it and they're all going through training camps and you help them and you just you just miss it you know, and just, just want to get, get in it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's your second second semi-pro fight. Yeah. Um, what's your background? Where, where, where do you, sort of, where's your MMA background? Uh, I haven't got no background at all. So um, I come here for a bit of fitness and then I sort of started doing the classes, starting to enjoy them more and then after a couple of years I thought I'd just step it up, with nothing to lose. So. What are the elements, which are kind of the elements of MMA do you like? Are you, are you a grappling junkie, you uh, like the boxing? Wrestling. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it's pretty rare for a British fighter to, to sort of so wrestling is the, yeah. the, the best. What is it about the wrestling? And these guys are going to tease the hell out of me because I'm a wrestling junkie. I love <laughs> the wrestling, and they always take the. What is it about the I wrestling? Don't know, it's that you just like? the hard work. It's just I just love the wrestling. Yeah. And as a fighter, you use your wrestling to keep standing. Would you like to take the guys down? You ground and pound. It's hard to say really because you, you can you can say you'd like to take it to the ground or you can stand him, but yeah. you get to your opponent and it just never goes that way. And then you don't want to be thinking, ah. Oh, I just want it to be that way, and then you can't get that way, and you're thinking in your head, what do I do next? So you just go with the flow and see what happens next. And how many, how many, how many fights at sort of the semi-pro level are you? Again, I know it's been, it's only the second one, and I'm asking you to think into the future. But you know, is this a case that you're looking for five or six fights at semi-pro, and then perhaps following some of your teammates? I'll up just see how it goes. Yeah. So get a, get some wins now, and see where I go from there. What's the best thing about stepping into the cage? Uh, winning, I think. Winning, yeah. be winning. Which I lost my first one, so I just want that win now. So, and you know, is that does that sort of if you have a loss on your debut? And I think every MMA fighter at some point is going to lose. It's not like boxing where people can be protected. Not even at local level. Does the loss make you hungrier? Yeah, it does. Yeah. And what does that mean for your I opponent think, I coming think up? I've, I've, I've learned a lot really because I get to watch the video again and because it was my first fight because I've, I've got no background so I, I didn't know what to expect when I stepped in. So uh, I looked at the video and then you see your mistakes and then you learn from your mistakes. And what does this mean for your opponent coming up? Yeah, Because it, it, it seems you're quite hungry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think my opponent's lost a couple as well so he'll be thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah, we. I've, I tried to. I tried to find anything on. I'm sorry. I'm looking away now. On Joe Greenway, and I, I found next to nothing. Was, I think his last fight was uh, middle white, and uh, not the Gladiators eleven. So, that, which was their last show, I think. So, and what? Uh, what does he bring to the table that you need to look out for? Um, I couldn't tell really because the fight he had, he he spent three rounds on his back. So, so. It, it, that yeah, might be something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Struggles to get off his back. Um, UTC is, you know, it's 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 a known gym throughout the UK. Now it's a it's a known gym. What, what does it mean to be training here? Um, what are the lads like? like how, oh, it's, how, it's brilliant, man. It's like a big family now. So it's only around the corner from me. So I, I, I love it here all day. So. Well, and and as a gym, what do you th what what do you think the biggest strength is? You, you know, is it is it the team? Is it? I mean, you've got. For, uh, we've been to some gyms where you know the sawdust is on the floor. This is a stunning facility. All of those things make this the only place you'd ever want to train. Uh, no, not really. I think I, I couldn't really say to be honest. I think everyone just gets on well. Like you, like you, you, like, you go there and people say, "Why would you go to the gym?" You know what I mean? It, it, the same in my mind, they think, you know what I mean, just horrible men yeah. and stuff like that. And when they come there and everyone's friendly, yeah. everyone just comes as a family like and just trains together. So I'm, I'm going to take it right back to you for a minute. As a, as a fighter, what are your, is, is the wrestling your biggest strength? Is that the thing that opponents need to watch out for? I'd say so, yeah. Uh, and is it a case that you, do you, 
again with with the wrestling, people always look at it like uh, wrestlers going to land prey, or wrestler, or, you know, wrestlers can be the most boring fighters in the world, and blah blah blah. What do you have to say to people who say that? You know, are, are you the kind of guy that'd be happy to bury your head in the chest and just keep talk position, or do you think that day is gone? Well, I reckon the, the wrestling's the main part of my. Look, like you say, with Dan Henderson, and you know what I mean. You, you wouldn't say it to him, like you know what I mean. It's yeah. just <laughs> that's, that's good. That's, that's a good point. Did, I think my my last question for you is, is as somebody who's sort of very young in in, in their MMA career, um, would you would you advise that people take the the route that you're taking, the route that Sean Kelly has taken, and start with the semi pro and the amateur before diving headlong in? Definitely, it, you, you gotta you gotta learn it, you know, first before it's stepping up. You know what I mean? Getting losses all the time. So, and uh, obviously you have to train a lot. And how does that affect like a normal life or family life? You know, um, does it have? It, a it has changed me quite a lot, to be honest. Because I used to go out every weekend, party, drink quite a lot, and I haven't drank now for like 10, 11 weeks now. It's the first time I've done that so much, like so. It has changed me quite a lot, and I enjoy it. To be fair, my body feels good now, so best I've ever felt. Is there anybody that you'd like to give a shout out to, say hello to, or anybody, any any sponsors, that, any teammates that you'd like? To uh, play? Just a big thanks to all the UTC family. Yeah. Well, September fifteenth is only a week away. Yeah. I hope the last week of your training. Yeah, I imagine you're going to step it down a little bit yeah, now. Just to touch, yeah, And well, we wish you the best of luck All in right. Stoke, and we look forward to speaking to you All again. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. I appreciate Thank your you. time.